When I first started here at Houston Ballet, I was a rat and I was Clara's friend. The role that I've been performing is the role of the grandfather. There are such magical moments with Sugar Plum. I do enjoy doing Sugar Plum. I've been doing Nutcracker since I was eight years old, um, starting as a party child, then to Fritz. I was a flower and a snowflake and Clara. But a favorite role would have been Clara. Then to go back and then eventually um, to the prince. And even the little legs underneath Mother Ginger's skirt. Arabian is something that I feel very um, at home in. It's a different way to move. The Sugar Plum Fairy and uh, Arabian. I think every little girl in, you know, would hopefully grow up to be a ballerina and I think Sugar Plum is one of those roles everyone is so familiar with. You know, it's a role that I've always wanted to dance ever since I, I first saw The Nutcracker and so I think it has a special, a special meaning for me. Because you're wearing a tutu, I find that your technique has to be very precise. Um, there's nothing hidden with your legs or your feet. It's funny, every year it comes around, uh, we all laugh that, wow, the sugar plum's really hard. Every year you think you'll get used to it. Oh, I know what to expect. And after you finish, you think, oh my goodness, it's so hard. Um, from the stamina to just wanting to always feel and be lovely. There's always a show going on backstage as I know for me and others, when we come off our sugar plum, we often are bent over and breathing, trying to catch our breath, and the next minute we're on stage smiling like it's so easy. Meanwhile, we know how hard it is, um, and just the stamina that it takes. It's just, I don't know, it's a challenging role, but I think that every little girl, you know, can relate to being the sugar plum fairy, or wants to be the sugar plum fairy, and yeah, I've always loved that role. <laughs> You know, one of my nutcrackers, my shoe came flying off, which was just awful. It was in the snow scene, and it was the first time that had ever happened to me, and the last. Uh, definitely put more rosin in my, in my shoes now, which is a, a sticky substance, sort of powder substance that we rub our feet on to give us more traction. Um, yeah, it was terrifying. <laughs> had to finish with one shoe. I think it's really part of a holiday tradition, a Christmas tradition here. It's almost like waking up and opening Christmas presents. It's something that you do. Who doesn't like Christmas? And I think that, you know, everyone sort of gets lost in the magic of Christmas. I think my favorite scene in the Nutcracker is the snow scene, just because especially in Texas, we don't really get to experience the snow that often. It's a very magical production too. The set design is gorgeous. Um, it looks like a picture postcard. It looks like a Christmas card, actually. I think the most beautiful scene is when the first curtain goes out and the warmth of the house and the set and the way they have it lit is, is so beautiful and so convincing for me. Um, and every year I'm always so you know, pleasantly surprised that it still has that effect on me. I was, oh, wow. It's sort of, you just feel like it's being lit by a fireplace and you get that sense that it's Christmas Eve. Children love it too. I mean, it's something that your parents can take you to, your grandparents can take you to as a special treat. And it's something I think kids will remember for forever. And children really um, fall in love with the Nutcracker. And that's really important for us as dancers as we develop future dancers and a future audience. And children are also involved in the ballet, which I think uh, other children who come and see it can identify with. It's just a charming, beautiful story. I know that a lot of families, they will come out year after year after year, and it's something that they do together all throughout the holidays. Seeing the reactions from the little kids in the audience kind of helps me, um, oh, I want to make this just as special for them as it was for me the first time I saw the Nutcracker.